eating is essential for us, and while we eat, we have pleasant or unpleasant sensations due to the thing we call taste. But don't you think we might be taking taste for granted? First, let's dive into the physiology of taste. On a human tongue we can see bumps which are called taste papillae. Each papilla has many so-called taste buds, that are small capsule-shaped groups of 50 to 100 taste receptor cells. At the tip of these capsules there is a pore that works as a funnel. Saliva mixed with chemicals from food goes down the funnel, and then proteins on the surface of taste cells bind chemicals to the cell for tasting. Apart from the tongue, in smaller numbers taste receptors can be found around the oral cavity, and some of them even in other organs such as the lungs. There are five types of taste receptors that have been identified for now, each type being specialized for one of the five basic tastes. The basic tastes are sweetness, sourness, saltiness, bitterness, and umami. Umami, or savoriness, is a curious one. It has been described as the taste of cheese or soy sauce. Umami receptors were discovered by the Japanese, umami being a Japanese word for deliciousness. Before this discovery, Western scientists believed there were only four basic tastes. Sweetness helps us identify energy-rich foods, such as fruit. Umami is associated with things that are rich in proteins. Bitter or sour taste of some food can mean that it is rotten or underripe. If we sensed taste only by detecting different combinations of five basic tastes, each of them having a different level of intensity in a certain food, that would already make a lot of distinct tastes. But our sense of taste is even more complex than that. Many other factors contribute to the feeling we get from tasting something, the most important one being the smell. While we chew food, it releases chemicals that travel up into the nose. There, they trigger the olfactory receptors used to sense smell. Taste and smell information combined is mostly responsible for why something tastes the way it does. But that's not all. Apart from smell, texture of food and its temperature make their own contributions too. Also, higher or lower temperatures can emphasize certain tastes while blocking others. That's why some foods are preferred served hot, and others chilled. Pungency, also known as spiciness or hotness, is technically not a taste since it doesn't arise from taste buds. It's actually a pain signal that comes from cells specialized to detect touch, pain or temperature sensations. Other feelings in our mouth that contribute to what we perceive as taste include coolness, numbness, astringency and metallicness. Kokumi, a Japanese word translated as hardiness, or full flavor, describes compounds in food that do not have their own taste, but enhance or magnify other tastes. The most well-known example for kokumi is garlic. Some recent research suggests existence of additional taste receptors. A good candidate is a possible lipid taste receptor that might be providing us the ability to sense fats. A calcium receptor was discovered on the tongues of mice. It's not known whether perception of calcium exists in humans, but the distinctive taste of chalk has been linked to the calcium component of the substance. As we age, the number of our taste receptors decreases. That's why certain foods sometimes taste stronger to kids than to adults. Also, smoking can reduce the number of taste buds a person has. And have you heard of super tasters? Super tasters are people whose sense of taste is more sensitive than most, in part due to an increased number of taste papillae on their tongues. They usually require less fat and sugar in their food. So, now we know that taste is a very complex sensation. A short answer to our question from the beginning would be that something tastes the way it does, primarily due to one or more basic tastes and its smell with possible additional influences of other factors. That leaves us with virtually an endless number of possible combinations of all the components. 
Which makes sense, since we all know that almost every food we have ever tried have had a different taste. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more facts.